what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki guys and today guys I have something very important to show you guys so let's go ahead guys and take a look at this video guys so do you guys remember this video that I was talking talking to you guys about about the PS4 jailbreak um, slash exploit to be released this week well check this out guys the team has now released that exploit guys so the PS4 Spectre dev released the 4.05 kernel exploit guys so take a look right here December 27 2017 and on my calendar right here December 27 2017 guys so they have finally released the exploit slash jailbreak guys okay guys so let's talk a little bit about what's going on right here so it says down here it's finally here two months after a team failover reveal the technical details of a kernel exploit for firmware 4.05 developer specter dev release a functional implementation today guys once again here's the date december 27 2017 and down here it says on my calendar December 27 2017 okay guys so moving on down here if you're looking for a PS4 that is running on firmware 4.05 uh, they have made a list of PS4 that if you buy them brand new you will get them on um, firmware 4.05 or maybe even lower so if you click this um, link right here it's going to take you to another page um, explaining to you about which ps4 if you buy them brand new which ps4 comes with um, firmware 4.05 so underneath now guys it says understand this release is in its current state might not be 100 percent user friendly but fingers crossed this should open up the PS4 scene a little bit more and hopefully new developments will make this very interested so what they're saying now guys is that hopefully um, other developers will take a look at this exploit and they can implement things of their own to make this exploit uh, more um, user friendly for us so moving on down to the credits guys Spectre dev credits the following people for their contribution to the exploit besides fail overflow i'm not sure what's going on um, between those two but um i'm sorry but i can't pronounce this guy name uh court yorps uh, i can't pronounce this name but credits go to this guy credits goes to flats credits goes to c tort and credit also go to anonymous now let's move on down to download and install so right here you can download the files on Spectre dev github right here so if i open this into a new tab it'll take you over to the github website so you can download um the exploit files right from here guys also additionally the hacker has released a sample payload to enable the debug settings and you can find that file right here so if i right click and open in a new tab it will bring you to mediafire and this is the debug settings dot bin file guys so just like the name it will enable debug settings on your ps4 so go ahead and click right here and get that um, debug setting.bin file because you will need it as well now down here guys they said to run the exploit you need to have a console on firmware 4.05 if you are below 4.05 you can update to 4.05 by finding the right update file online if you are above 4.05 you cannot downgrade and the exploit will not work for you but guys um keep in mind guys that um they did come out with the e3 flasher to downgrade um some of the slims so in the future guys um there might be a downgrader for the ps4 there might that's that's my opinion so again guys if you are above 4.05 you can't downgrade and the exploit will not work for you okay guys so i forgot to mention something very important and right here it says specifically specter dev states um 
in this project you will find a full implementation of of the name dobj kernel exploit for the ps4 on 4.05 it will allow you to run arbitrary codes as kernel to allow jailbreaking and kernel level modifications to the system this release however does not contain any code relate to defeating anti-piracy mechanism or running homebrew this exploit does include a ladder that listens for payload on port 9020 and will execute them up on receiver so guys um in in my opinion i think that this exploit right now is just for um people who want to do like gta mods who want to load those um, gta mod files for your ps4 and stuff like that so i don't think that this is a full jailbreak um exploit right now guys i think this is just for payloads that that gives mods in maybe like call of duty and um gta 5 and all those stuff guys so guys uh please keep in mind that um i haven't tried this yet and um as soon as i do i'll let you guys know what it really does and also keep in mind that this is just an information video okay now guys so right here is the most important part right now and they're saying you'll need to host the exploit file on a local server and access the index.html file through the web kit on the ps4 once the payload runs successfully the console will be listening for payloads on port 9020 you can send payloads with common netcat from your computer so guys from my understanding and knowledge a little bit i would say that this would be something similar to um the ps3 exploit with miniweb as i said this is just my um opinion guys so um this would be a little bit like miniweb with the ps3 so maybe we'll be doing something like that because i haven't got the time to try this out yet and look into it fully but guys everything that you'll be telling the ps3 sorry the ps4 to do you have to send those commands through port 9020 guys so that was it now guys i'll leave a link in the description to the website so you guys can read up about it yourself and as soon as i get this done on my ps4 i'll also make a video so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video